Hello and welcome to an episode of Cooking with Emma. In today's show we are making lion cake. To make lion cake you will need a bowl, a wooden spoon, a metal spoon, a fork, measuring spoons, baking tins, scales, caster sugar, cocoa powder, vanilla essence, self-raisin flour, icing sugar, butter, sunflower oil, fudge chunks, honeycomb pieces, milk chocolate buttons, icing pens and eggs. The ingredients I have pre-weighed out to save time. Also make sure you set the oven to gas mark 4. Now to grease the baking tins. Get some butter and spread it all over the inside of the tins, making sure they are nicely covered. First of all we will need to weigh out 150 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of butter. These need to be broken up with a wooden spoon and push the butter into the side of the bowl and mix it together. This is called creaming. Tip: Always pull the spoon towards yourself as this is much easier. We now need to crack three eggs into a jug and beat them together with a fork. Get your measuring spoons, find the one marked with half a teaspoon and add vanilla essence to the beaten eggs. Weigh 150 grams of self-raising flour and 40 grams of cocoa powder. Then add a little bit of the egg mixture and a tablespoon of the flour. Slowly fold this in with a metal spoon. Do this in a figure of eight motion. Repeat the above until it is all mixed in. Don't over mix as you want to keep enough air in the mixture. Divide the cake mixture between the two cake tins and spread out evenly. Put the cake tins in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. While the cake is baking, we can prepare the icing. For this, we will need another bowl. Weigh out 100 grams of butter and 200 grams of icing sugar. Mix together until light and fluffy. In the pan, gently melt the fudge chunks with the milk. Once done, let this cool slightly and then beat into the buttercream mix. Now it's time to sandwich the cakes together. Get your fudge buttercream mix, spread some of the buttercream on one cake with a spatula, then place the other piece of cake on top to make a sandwich. Thickly coat the top and sides of the cake until all the buttercream has been used. Using the icing pens, pipe lines outwards from halfway and then drag the buttercream outwards with a fork to create a mane. Place the honeycomb pieces in an oval shape in the centre of the cake. Now decorate with the buttons and icing pens to make whiskers and a face. Dot the remaining buttons around the base of the cake. And here we have it, a lion cake. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I have. A copy of the recipe for you to download will be in the description below. See you next time when we cook more tasty treats.